this video tutorial, we're going to be talking about Vue.js and binding to classes, CSS classes. In our previous video, we were binding to CSS styles, but this time we're going to go ahead and check out how it works with classes. So as you can see, we have a component right here and we're looping through it four times and each component we're stylizing specifically based on that component. So I'm going to slide this over to the right and I want to pull up VS code and if we jump over here if you're following along in my videos you've probably seen this one right here where we're using the colon to bind to our style and then we're passing in a prop of cat and that cat has a color so we've checked out the style bindings now let's check out binding to a class so I want to go ahead and I want to get rid of all these style bindings in here All right, I'm going to go ahead and save that and we're going to we're going to break all these colors and things that we did previously. And there we go. Let's check out viewjs.org and see how they tell us to bind to classes. So, I'm going to come over here and we'll do viewjs.org and I'm going to click on learn and then guide. Now, over here on the side, I'm going to look for class and style bindings. So right here, object syntax. We can pass an object to vcombine class to dynamically toggle classes. Now it looks exactly the same as we did vbind style. So we're gonna pass it an object and it's saying, let's read a little bit more. The above syntax means the presence of the active class will be determined by the truthiness of the data property is active. So is active, it's checking for is active. Is this set to true? Then use the active class. Let's go ahead and see if we can replicate this idea in our application over here. Now if I click on app, we don't have is active, but we have visible true. Visible true, visible false, visible false. So let's see if we can check for if the cat is visible, show this class. Otherwise, don't, don't show any class at all. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to make a copy of the cat card, except this time I'm going to call it visible. And I'm also going to give it a background of, we'll just use green. So there's a visible class. It should look just like cat card, and it's going to have a green background. Now let's just make sure that that works. And I'm going to change this cat card class to visible. So I just want to make sure my visible class is working. We'll come back over here. Now we're expecting this to look exactly the same, except this time it's going to have a green background. So we save, and it did exactly what we expected. Now I want to actually test, I want to bind to the class, and I want to check and see if visible is actually set to true. So let's do what they showed us over here, and they're using vbind, but we already know we can use the shorthand syntax and just the colon and then class and then pass it an object. So let's try that out. We're gonna use colon class, and then we'll get rid of visible right here, and we wanna pass it an object, and the first thing it wants is the class it wants us to use. So we wanna show the visible class if cat.visible is set to true. So on our blog, if cat.visible is set to true, show the visible class. Now, only two of them are set to true, so I'm expecting one and two to show up right here and look the same, and then three and four, they're not gonna have any class, so all their CSS properties are gonna go away. I'm gonna save that, and just like we expected, one and two stayed the square with the green background, but three and four lost all their CSS properties. Now, this is a lot of CSS and I, I kind of want to give this three and four, I want them to remain a square, but since they're not supposed to be visible, maybe I'll gray them out. And the first thing you would think is like, all right, well, let's just copy visible and paste this down here and call this invisible. All right, that sounds good. And then, you know, we'll just say gray, use the color gray. But with Vue.js, they actually have what they call array syntax. 
And what array syntax allows us to do is do this check for cat visible, but if it's not visible, apply a different CSS class. And then also with the array, you can pass a default class, which for us would probably be cat card. So if we wanted to reduce the amount of CSS down here, let's pretend we're, we're saying the same thing with this display, border, width, height, justify three times. I had a little extra comma there I wanted to get rid of. Um, so we're displaying this three times, but we really only need to use the cat card. And then if it's visible, change the background to green. If it's invisible, change it to gray. So let's get rid of all this code or CSS duplication. All right. And let's see what view says about array syntax. So if we come down here, and here we have array syntax. We can pass an array to the vcombine class to apply a list of classes. So they're saying just same idea, vbind class, and then an array. And you can just list out as many classes as you want. In their example here, they're using the active class in the data property, and they're passing an active error class. They're passing in a class of text-danger. So right here it says, if you would like to also toggle a class in the list conditionally, you can do it with a ternary expression. So they're doing, they're checking for is active set to true. And if is active is set to true, use the active class, which we can see right here is active. And then otherwise, don't use don't do anything at all. And then by default, they're using the error class and they're passing error class is set to text danger. So let's see if we can replicate this and apply it. So I'm gonna click back on my blog and we wanna switch this out. And instead of using the object syntax, let's use the array syntax. And we're gonna check for cat.visible and if cat.visible is set to true, we want to show the visible class. Otherwise, we want to show the invisible class. All right, so we're checking for true and false. Let's just, I'm going to save this. We didn't apply our cat card yet, but let's just see if this is working. So we're going to lose our big square and we're just going to have a jumbled up little green square and little gray squares. So we'll command S to save and like we thought, it's, it lost our square and our, our styling from cat card, but it's actually applying two separate classes for our first two cats and our second two cats. But we also want to include that cat card. So we could just put a comma and then inside single quotes, we can say cat card. So the first part of our array, we're checking for cat visible and we're toggling between visible and invisible. And then we're just setting a default class of cat card. So I'm going to command S to save. And perfect. It did exactly what we wanted it to do. So our first two cats are set to visible true. So they get the green background. And by default, they get the cat card styling. And then our second two are set to visible false, which is a gray background. But they also get the cat card styling as well. That's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and play around with the CSS class bindings. Try some different stuff out. Uh, I think the best way to learn is to go in and get your hands dirty. I've watched tons of videos, and I, I've realized that it doesn't really sink in until I go ahead and type the code out myself. If you've enjoyed this video and you feel like you've learned something, please go ahead, click the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell icon. I'll be posting more of Vue.js content and I'll see you in the next one.